Alrighty guys, good morning. I'm excited. Today is gonna be a good day. Either way, no matter what. I'm at a lake, it's been on my bucket list since I came to California. We're at Bullard's Bar today, and as you guys probably know, the fishing has been super tough. Uh, January, my God, has kicked my butt. And I'm ready to turn it around today. But I'll tell you what, this lake is special because, and most of you guys probably know this, this lake has the world record spotted bass. I believe it's over 11 pounds and uh, it's been broken multiple times. Are we gonna catch a world record today? I don't know, maybe, you never know. But uh, we're hoping to get on some good fish, catch some good spots, and I'll see you guys on the water. guys we made it to our first spot this is what we're gonna start with right now something I haven't thrown in a while a little weightless Senko actually has a weight in it has a nail weight in it but uh, we're gonna be fishing this pretty deep pretty slow I don't know got a bunch of different baits today but we'll see what happens Got some activity here. I got the smallest fish in Shasta, or not Shasta, what am I talking saying? about? In Bullard's Bar. Oh my gosh. It's not a world record. It might be a future world record, but uh, it's not exactly what we came for. <laughs> channel or whatever. We found a mother load of six to eight inches. <laughs> uh. Hey, based on how my fishing's been in January, it's I'm I'm not complaining right now. I will take bites. Man, I gotta all right, guys, I'm not going to lie. I was just taking a leak. I right, fixed my GoPro. Well, I guess would be, this would be a good, good as time as any to plug these uh, NRS Champion Vibs. Got the zipper, the dual zipper. There's two zippers, so pretty much I can... Uh, Zip it down, or get the bottom zipper and zip it up and do my business. So yeah, these are the new Champion bibs. Um, got them obviously because the weather's been crazy in California and as luck would have it as soon as they came in, weather's nice and beautiful. But they're cool because they're nice and warm still. It is still colder temperatures, nice and flexible, waterproof. I dig them. Oh, it came off again. Huh. These little guys aren't staying buttoned. You can find them down in about 40, 45 feet. And they are little. He had a, he had a big just shaky head. I've been doing it the past like couple seasons. I think I'm gonna start doing it. I put 40 pound braid on. Backing actually is probably like 50 pound braid. That's probably why it got dug in here. Yeah. I can't horse. This is my mega bass. Ooh. Good one. Had it. Ooh. Oh, easy there, fella. Yeah. Uh, Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one. I think that's like a eight or nine foot diver. Big fish of the day, 10 inches. <laughs> All right, jerk bait bite. Any bites? Nope. It's been a bit of a grind so far. Pretty lake though. Never know.
All right, guys, we're back at the dink spot. <laughs> Got to change something up. What do we think? I know that's not a big, you know what? Actually, let's go this one. It's not as translucent. It's not even a big HUD. It's one of the small ones, but it's all I got right now. Right. Uh, well, I'm embarrassed to say we're back at the small fish spot because uh, I just need to get a bite here for some confidence. They're definitely fish here. Micro. Oh, damn, damn, keep missing them. Oh my god, we actually got one on a spoon. Dragging a drop shot through there. Just cannot get these fish to react, and they are on the. No way. That is insane. <laughs> okay, that's a first. So I lost my little Z drop a moment ago. Guess who got it? Caught him down in 50 foot of water on the spoon. Ooh, swim bladder. Oh, it's got a little minnow in there too. Dude, this guy's chomping. That is wild. He's got a couple little guys down there. I gotta, I'm sorry, I don't mean to take your food, buddy, but apparently that's what they're eating down there. Let him go. Wild. And I went back down pretty quick. Should be good. What kind of bait fish are these guys? These, I don't know what these are. Super tiny. Weird. I think part of the problem too is these fish are so tight to the bottom they're just hard to see on the graph. There could be some decent fish down there. I just can't really see them. I don't know, maybe I should have, uh, maybe we should downsize since I saw that one fish regurgitate like micro bait. You know what? Ah, there they are. Tiny flukes. Smallest bait I've got in the box. Oh. Alright, the fish are way smaller over here. But apparently I can't get a bite over there with you. Big fish of the day here. We're just about to call it a day, but you know the classic fisherman line, one last cast. <laughs> I want to get big fish of the day and I'm... Is this net worthy? No way. Oh my gosh. Eh, it's not net worthy. It's my big fish of the day. Nice 13 incher. And he's got another one of those little minnows in his mouth. Take a look at this. Eh, never mind. Actually, that's not a minnow. That's a crawfish pincher. I thought it was the minnow that I saw earlier. Alright, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back at the launch. You might be a little confused on the last clip. You know, how it goes. One more cast, we always say that. And that actually worked out, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, the, that was my big fish of the day, the 12-incher. So that pretty much sums up the day, but you know what, you can't really complain. 
This lake is beautiful. This is probably one of the coolest looking lakes I've ever fished. And uh, yeah, we got numbers, no size, no world records today. I may have caught the world record smallest spot out of here today, <laughs> but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Tyler caught a couple good ones. What are you throwing, Wacky Senko? Yep, nail weighted. Nail weighted in like 100 foot of water? Yeah, on like six pound test. <sighs> And uh, I was trying the same thing, but I had heavier line and uh, I don't know what the different, I don't know. I just couldn't catch them on the wacky Senko. My baits were drop shot, of course, Z drop. I caught them on a little tiny fluke. Got a random fish on a spoon, which was weird because I lost that same fish on my Z drop earlier. And what else did I catch on? Uh, oh, jerk bait fish, oh, yeah. mega bass. Yeah. <laughs> but that is the video for today. I'm actually, we're leaving a little bit early because I need to go to another campground. There's no camping right now during the winter here at Bullards, you can't do it. So I have to go about 30 minutes down the road. I'm gonna camp at Collins Lake. You guys know the new camper, kinda. <laughs> but uh, I'm hitting this place up tomorrow morning and uh, hopefully it's a little better. I'm still in my small fish slump. Oh, dang. I apologize if that was a little blurry, but I'm still in my small fish slump. I'm praying I can break it tomorrow with a decent fish. I'm talking maybe something over three pounds, but as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, later.